Hey, what up guys? Welcome back to Life After. My uploads have been uh, struggling lately, I know. I'm feeling kind of demotivated lately, but that should solve soon. Anyways, they have dropped a update and they kind of changed DeFi. All I know is that they fixed the spider boss on the 105th floor, which I will upload after this video you're watching. But anyways, the most important thing they added is Miska fifth star so i'm going to try it out i'm not gonna wear a shield or anything just gonna wear my flame and my ksg pretty much that's it we're gonna solo that and let's just hop on the truck and we should be safe right and these guys well they're one shots basically the zombies die in one shot so that's uh i didn't expect that i thought they're gonna be a little bit tankier but yeah, they die pretty fast, just like I, just like they die in fourth, fourth star in Miska. Oh, there's still one more dude alive right there. Dude, there's so many of them. But I try to not get grappled by them, I guess. You know, just stand here. It's actually that's all you have to do. Oh, don't knock me over, dude. What, what's going on? Let me eat an antiseptic. See how that will help me. Okay, let's shoot him. Can you stop, like, moving that fast? God damn it. So he is pretty tanky. I'm doing, like, 138, 200 damage. What about now? 296 I saw. That's better. Antiseptics do help against zombies. Like, does more damage. But yeah. Let's get that key. And let's go open up the gate. What? There's still a zombie there. Okay, let's activate that. Well, that's fine by me. I think there's nothing else in Miska. There's nothing else they've added. It's literally all they've added. Anyways, um, you know, it's so easy to avoid these guys. You just have to walk backwards. They will never grapple you, like ever. It's impossible to get grappled by them if you walk backwards. Just backwards. Anyways, I need an ammo box. Thank God. Okay, can, can you leave me alone? Goddamn pesky girl. What is wrong with her, man? Anyways, it's two minutes. Like, I get here in like a minute if this was four star. But damn, it's taken a while. Anyways, let's take that. And this is why I took my KSG out. Let's put that ammo box in, and you just go up here. Zombies won't spawn. Just follow where I go, and you shall be fine. One shot these things, and I always like to go first for this one. And then I always go for that one. After I get that on the bottom. And then I can literally just drop down and run to the other side. But actually, it's better if you do this side first, not the left side. Do the right side first, then do the left side. And, oh god damn. Okay, I'm gonna just, I'm gonna just run in the fog, it's fine. But yeah, do this side first, then go to the left side. Then we go do the two bosses that we have to kill. You know, Miska is pretty easy. Even a fifth star, this doesn't seem that hard. Did I destroy that? Yes, I did. Okay. There's still one more left right there. They're literally one shot. I expected more. Now, I actually want a six star. And by the time we get 80 levels, I think if you get 80, the zombies are going to be pretty easy to kill. And they're going to be like one shots too. Because if you guys did not know, the higher your combat is, the easier the zombies get to kill. And... It also determines how hard the zombie is to kill. Green, orange, uh, green, yellow, orange, and red. You know, red is the hardest means. You do really low damage to them if the zombie is red. But for example, if the zombie is green, it's mediocre. Like, but it's still not that easy, but not that hard, you know. But if it's orange, it's going to be pretty tanky. If the zombie is red, it's going to be extremely tanky. It's going to take forever to kill it, but still possible to kill it, but just forever. You know, it's going to be. And 
if you're fighting a let's say a red name marker zombie like higher combat than you then the ability the chances to get knocked is like extremely high and if you're higher level than a zombie in combat you can you do more damage to them and oh wow what just happened what just happened he just paralyzed me what just freaking happened bruh okay i never saw that coming what was i talking about though the higher chances to get knocked by a zombie if it's higher level and you just do more damage you know if you're higher combat than them but if they're higher combat than you as you know you do lower damage to them okay that was kind of um not easy that was weird i never thought he can do that i'm this is the first time i've seen him do that by the way the first time Alrighty, these guys are one shot. Well, not a problem. Not a problem. Let me get my ammo box real quick. You know, shouldn't be putting this down here. Just go up here. Put an ammo box. Then you just go all the way through that side. Get my KG back. And kill these guys. So yeah, this is uh, pretty repetitive. They didn't change anything. Everything's the same. Same concept, same map. They should have changed Miska though, like at 5th star or something, like a different map. I don't know, something different. They had to add, spice it up a little, but everything's the same. All the spawns, all the zombies, like it's repetitive, nothing's new. And we have to do this every day, guys. Remember, it's like chores, dude. You gotta do this every single day. Every single goddamn day, bro. And it's always the same. I'm gonna eat that food buff so I shoot faster. Also do more damage to tankier zombies. But yeah. Legit the same map. They, I think the devs are just lazy. But I mean, it's good that they added at least 5th star. At least for us something, you know, more challenging to do. Because, well... I mean, 4th star is very easy. 5th star is easy also. They should have added, like, even more difficulties. But as of now, what they've did, it's okay. I, I like that they added 5th star of Niska, at least. But yeah, these zombies are pretty easy to kill, like, they're not even a struggle. Well, maybe because I'm 74 combat. If you were under 69 combat, I'm pretty sure you can. I don't know what's the combat requirement to do this Niska, but if you're, let's say, you know, 69 combat and these zombies are 70, the damage will be extremely low because you're under leveled. And if you're, let's say, 70 or 71, then you will do higher damage, of course, for sure. But yeah, that's uh, how it works. So guys, if you do low damage to, like, I don't know, a level 80 zombie, don't feel bad. Because it's your combat. It's not your gun. It's not your mods. It's your combat level. Also, make sure you upgrade your, you know combat stats because that matters a lot it really does trust me and it helps you in death high too if you like doing death high for example but yeah i should be using like i don't know rifle here would be faster because kg is just one shot one shot one shot but i don't know i'll just pop them with my kg now um i don't know how a grenade launcher would work to be honest i really don't know well, that guy is really easy to kill. I thought they're like tanky. But they're just one shots. The tanky ones, the big guys. They still take one shot and die pretty fast. Alright, how many more waves is there? Like, I may don't like going so long. I wanna get my new dollars pretty quick. Also, yeah, you do get uh, like 1,000 more new dollars for doing this. And yeah, soloing this is cake, so nothing to worry about. Do this with your teammates, and easy peasy, easy gold, easy new dollars, easy combat XP. And yeah, you do get more combat XP and gold. You get 2k gold from doing 5th star, but from 4th star you get like 500 gold less. So yeah, if you can do 5th star, make sure you do that. Don't hesitate, guys. You gotta get the maximum rewards. Anyways, 
I'm gonna skip true until I kill all of these zombies. God, they just keep coming. I even need another ammo box to pass this like there's so many of them like I don't understand why there's so many of them to be honest I legitimately don't understand is it done there's still one more wave okay this one boom okay there we go so I think they added more waves I'm pretty sure they added more waves because bro it takes forever or maybe it's just me because I'm solo Oh wow, I just got grappled. Just because of that obstacle right there. God damn. It does 78 damage to me. Not too bad. Not too good. That's fine damage right there. But yeah. We got 10 minutes. And I think we need 15 to be able to get top 1 rewards. So we chillin'. We're fine. And I hope there's no of these uh, guys that jump on you. I hope. I'm just gonna go and safely open the door and get the girdle. Kill a couple of these dudes. Oh no, that's gonna be bad. See, I got knocked and that will hurt a little. Can I stop getting knocked, please? Okay, so I wanna get the girl real quick. Come on, man. I think I can't save her because... Okay, this is bad. This is bad. Go, go, go. This guy, I can avoid him pretty easy. Just jump. I mean, if this miska is too hard for you guys, just jump where I jump. Go up this lamp. And then you're safe. Do whatever you want. Put some ammo boxes. Get some ammo. And then just kill this guy. That's it. He will get stuck behind, um, under that lamp. Also, if he shoots you like this, well that won't save you that lamp definitely won't save you but you can like jump like i do but that's like chances of falling is like 100 percent dude anyways yeah i will kill him like that i don't think he sh okay yeah okay there we go we killed him i'm gonna heal just in case just in case and that's it let's go i get the barrel real quick now, do note, these zombies knock you hella hard. Like, these zombies. The black dudes and the white dudes. Like, they have those higher level tier zombies from Levin City. I remember them. Like, see this one. They run so fast. Like, that guy and that guy. They knock hella hard, dude. But yeah. If your combat is higher than them, chances of getting knocked is way less. Also, you can counter being knocked by just having stability, which I don't have on my character right now. Stability comes from food buffs, or from your helmet, or from your starred gear. That's Miska, and yeah, we got the max rewards. We got 12k new dollars. That's actually a lot of new dollars. I like that. They didn't really add anything else. It's just 50% formula off. I don't roll formula machine. I don't I don't go with the formula machine, guys. That thing is like, hell nah, man. Hell nah. This one's just sign in, get rewards. And they added a lucky hunt. I don't work with that either. They added this. Now, this will, uh, you know, just farm, kill zombies, gather as usual. Do your dailies and then you get like those boxes from mining stuff and chopping stuff blah 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 you open these boxes boom you get these uh, flower thingies exchange them that's pretty much it the most worth one to exchange is either your mods or just go for formula shards or you can go for the ceramics and fenders but i would go for mods legit mods 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 and yeah lucky hunt right over here Biggest scam ever, like usual. I don't do those, never will. So yeah guys, thank you for watching. Um, I don't know when's my next upload legitimately, but I will upload my DeFi videos for sure. And I'll try to upload a little bit more frequent. Cause right now, lately I've been just, you know, struggling or just demotivated, tired, I don't know. Something's been going on with me. 
sorry about that guys but yeah hope you enjoyed this video take care and peace out